Kaylee was overdosed with Xanax. Did you ever give Xanax? No, Kaylee. I never gave Kaylee anything other than cold medicine when she had a cold. That was some concocted bullshit story, whether by the media or someone affiliated. I'm trying to piece things together that don't fit into anything because they don't exist. None of that is real. I never saw Casey with Xanax. I never saw her give Case or Kaylee any Xanax. But just the fact that Zanny the nanny was said just sent a light bulb off in my head. All right, Greg, what do you got? Yeah, my first comment is at the bottom, I have the certain crowd is what this says. This guy's certain that because she called this Zanny the nanny that, you know, that something came from that. Look, that's another wild swing of logic. I, I'll leave that alone. I'm not going to touch that. But what I do see in her is exactly what I saw in her earlier. And remember, when she was poked or prodded or criticized, we got anger and rage. We see it again. Lower teeth showing, jaw wrenching, bite to the side of the mouth. That's a trigger for her. When you when you do what we do, those triggers are key because now we know how to manipulate your feelings. We know that by challenging you, you're going to get angry and come back at us, and that gives us opportunity to control the conversation. If you have if you can't recognize anger in someone, you really need to spend time and look because that's one of the things we all are designed to see. When we see those lower teeth exposed, we see that wrenching of the jaw. We see her adapt by biting inside her mouth, and then her voice, tone, pitch, and cadence all change. Tone goes to telling, pitch goes to higher, and cadence goes to more rapid. Now we've got something. Mark, what do you got? Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Uh, very aggressive, answers the question early, doesn't let the, the question finish, jumps straight in there, and a full-out attack on the accusation, which is right out of her baseline i mean that could mean it could be that full out attack could mean that she's definitely saying hey i i didn't do that 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 is a possibility here's what's lacking for me is um there's in, in the clip that i've seen here and around it i don't hear the question did you ever take xanax yourself that's that's not asked and I'm not even saying that you would start with a question like that. What you'd more likely start with is saying, hey, so what medications were you taking? You know, and then you'd probably get, you know, Tylenol and okay. And what, and then you can, you can work up to something. So I'm not saying blunder in with like, hey, did you give us Xanax or did you take it yourself? But we're seeing no soft entry into the escalation up to this and an already prepared, I think, attack on the idea. But I'm willing to have my mind changed on that. Uh, Chase, what do you got on this one? Uh, I think in my opinion, this could be what an honest denial looks like because this is what I'd like to see towards the father if she really thinks the father is the perpetrator here. I don't think, I don't think that she gave Xanax to Kaylee. So let's go through what might make this an honest denial. There's instant confident denial. There's comfort. Uh, she's comfortable identifying perpetrators. She's comfortable calling someone a liar. She's comfortable saying information is bullshit. She's shaking her head during the denial in perfect rhythm. She's head nodding during confirmation in perfect rhythm with no hesitancy whatsoever. There's no injection of ambiguity here. There's no vague response uh, to circumstances that were there. She's comfortable offering up multiple theories of where the information came from and instantly identifying multiple perpetrators. There's genuine anger response to the accusation. There's genuine contempt when she's referencing the perpetrators and the spreading of this information. She didn't pause one time to adjust her posture, her hair, to cover her breasts. The scary part is that you won't see this kind of denial in any other video. And as a quick side note, when this guy comes on in the end, he speaks in iambic pentameter and produces three rhyming words in seconds to the to the exact rhythm of visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. <laughs> I thought that was interesting. Three rhymes in like 10 seconds right there. Scott, what do you got? Good Lord. Yeah, I agree with you because that when she's that head shake. Uh, quite often when someone is saying yes, but they but they mean no, you'll see that, um, or when they're shaking their head no, they mean yes, you'll see that 
confirmation nod you know and that's what we see a good a good solid one it wasn't huge a lot of times they're much bigger than that but she, that's her first thing because her head comes forward and her chin comes out if she'd just been saying yes it would have been like this but she, boom it was like that so when you rewatch that make sure you take take a look at it and after after that we see her, her neck muscles come out like greg was talking about those flare a little bit these are all showing or indicating stress and like you like you were talking about chase because she's she's getting po'd man at this point she's actually angry that this was said when she talks about the media her the bottom part of her eyes squint up so she has a real problem obviously with the media but she has a real problem with with anybody that, that goes up against her and the media was one to go up against her um she's showing disgust anger contempt everything she should be showing right now and these were actually real so that's let's look at what what was happening with her here as compared to what we've seen up to this point then we'll see real contempt we'll see real anger we'll see all those things that the way they're supposed to look and on this guy he believes that happened he's showing everything he should show everything looks as it should for someone who believes what they're saying and when he's laying that down and saying yeah this kid uh, she gave that kid xanax she gave kaylee xanax he believes that to be true he believes that to be the truth so i think in his case we're seeing everything we should see at that point so i and it sort of goes against what they're doing because unless they want to show her being angry because boy he sure looks believable he looks like he's, he's really uh believing that whether it is believable shoot we'll never know or we won't know right now anyway all right we good yeah good. all right oh man <laughs> i'm gonna have to get to chase he's got the uh magician yeah, like, hypnotist yeah, I'm still reading the mind of the computer yeah my yeah. reader <laughs> yeah, okay kaylee was overdosed with xanax did you ever give xanax no kaylee. i never gave kaylee anything other than cold medicine when she had a cold that was some concocted bullshit story whether by the media or someone affiliated I'm trying to piece things together that don't fit into anything because they don't exist none of that is real I never saw Casey with Xanax. I never saw her give Case or Kaylee any Xanax. But just the fact that Zanny the nanny was said just sent a light bulb off in my head. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.